Welcome to another episode here at the Mask and Health Solutions Podcast. And today we're going to be talking about the best PE workout split. All right, let's jump in. All right, I hope everybody is doing fantastic and I hope everybody has been, um, you know, just adapting to life and how everything's kind of been changing and, you know, dealing with the drastic changes of life and how we've kind of just been thrown back into normality. I know for myself, it's it's taken a toll on obviously my PE workouts and just life in general and that now, you know, there's a lot of adjustments that had to be made and just a lot of different things involved in in making sure, you know, I can uh, balance all the things that I need to to do in life, just in general, right? So, what I want to talk about today is um, in regards to a conversation that I was having and uh, I was asked the question like what is the best PE workout split, right? Obviously, this is purely based off of uh, my own bias. Um, this is all opinionated. Everybody's workout has to cater to your individual needs and only you as an individual can really decide what is best for you at the end of the day. Now, if I had all the time in the world, this would be the workout split that I would go with, right? If I had all the free time in the world, I would basically break it down in this way, right? And the reason why I would do that is that if I did, I would be able to maximize the amount of gains that I'd be able to make, in my opinion, right? And I have never... I have not had the chance to do this in my life because, like I said, it's something that uh, I just... I don't have the time for, but I do know that I've explored with either, well, let's say the split that I'm basically talking about is you want to start off with like either hanging your manual stretches or or something along the lines of your length workout. It could include jelking as well. And in after post-workout, right, I would recommend using your extender so you can be at your longest all day right so you can increase the length and then do a girth workout at night i know a lot of people are probably going to say hey you know i would never go about doing a workout program like that you should probably concentrate on one or the other 100 percent right but in my opinion well 100 percent up to your you know whatever you uh whatever it is that you are you know trying to go for for myself you know obviously i want both and uh because of that i find that this would be an excellent way to split it If I'm not mistaken, I do believe that DLD has a split similar to the one that I mentioned. And, um, you know, I really, really like the idea of doing it this way. Right. So let's just jump into the split itself and kind of go a little bit more in depth. You know, I actually wrote this one in my journal just as a way, you know, something that I do want to do when the time is right. And I think it's something that would definitely help garner the most gains because you'd be able to take advantage of the full day, you know, of the day in its entirety. And, um, you know, like I said before, the more comfortable you are, the more gains you can make. And obviously, if you're able to do it in a way that's comfortable and, you know, passive, as I've mentioned before, that's when you are truly going to get the most out of your workouts, right? So like I said before, I would jump in. And in my first workout, let's say I just woke up, you know, life is good, did what I had to do. And now I got an hour of time to, you know, get part one of uh, my PE exercise or basically my morning workout or whatever it is that you want to call it. And in this part, I would definitely start off with a warm up. Then I would do some type of length um, routine, right? Whether it's hanging, whether you want to do manual exercises, jelking, you know, choose it. I'd probably go with a hanging split myself, you know. Maybe do three 10-minute sets uh, along with, you know, manual exercise in between. End it with some jelking. Post-workout, I would do what I always recommend. And that would be put on some type of uh, device, yes, an ADS, an extender, if you're chill, chilling at home. And basically just wear that for the duration of the day, right? Take it off whenever needed. Maybe do some stretch routines or, or some stretch workouts in between. Or when you take off your device and whenever you have some free time to basically ensure that your penis never retracts. If my dick never retracts and it stays in that elongated state, you know, life is good and that's exactly what I'm going for, right? And after that, you know, you go through your day. It's been about, I don't know, let's say 10 hours in between um, or 10 hours now, 
of you wearing your device or maybe a little bit less, you know, life getting in the way if you got to work out, whatever the case may be, but definitely shoot for anywhere from like six to eight hours. Now, at this point, I would definitely jump into, or I guess for my evening routine, I would now begin my quote unquote girth workout. I myself personally, that's kind of the way I would go about it. And uh, what I would do here, depending on how much time I would have, I would aim for at least an hour, right? At least an hour is what I would go for. But I'd probably start off with the warm up once again, some jelking, wet jelking is always preferable for myself, you know, I, I much prefer it over dry jelking. And then I would definitely jump into my cylinder, right? I would definitely jump into my cylinder, do a pumping routine, maybe a three by 10, three by 15, whatever is best for me. And uh, let's say if I'm just relaxing, it's the end of my day, and I have a little bit more time, I would just aim to stay in my cylinder. And I would pack it and I would just chill in there for as long as possible. Post workout before going to sleep, I would slap on, you know, a very, very, very loose uh, cock ring just so I can maintain that engorged state, you know, and then I would just go about repeating it. And let's say I'd shoot for about three to five times a week is what I would go for. You know, obviously for the more veteran guys, definitely shoot for five days a week. And I would still recommend using your extender even on your off days and even go to, going to sleep with, um, let's say, getting a light pump, like even a 10 minute workout and um, just going to sleep with the cock ring on, making sure that it's really loose, but just making sure that you are still in an enlarged state, right? And like I mentioned before in um, a couple previous episodes, you know, the more time you spend in an engorged, enlarged, elongated state, eventually, you know, your penis is going to be like, hey, you know what, this is the new homeostasis. This is now where I want to live. This is now where I want to chill. And um, eventually it won't it won't be something out of the normal. Right. That's kind of when that flaccid is going to catch up to, you know, how you how you uh how your penis basically is post workout and eventually this will just be your cemented gains right and that's kind of what i'd be shooting for in doing this workout split right and why i think it's so important to get you know two birds stoned at once by basically trying something that would obviously hit the girth side of things and the length side of things simultaneously i know a lot of people in the pe community definitely shoot for just go for length go for length and I think that's 100% true. And it depends on what your gains are. Primarily, if my gains were just, you know what, I'm only worried about length, I would still split it, you know, into a two a day format. The only difference is I wouldn't do any girth workout, right? So that's the one thing I wanted to cover next is if I was doing a workout or if I was looking strictly for length gains, I would still get up. I do a stretch workout and do my manual exercises, still do some jelking. You know, I would still do wet jelking, even though for most guys, I know it's more of a, of a girth workout, but I still love jelking that much. And I still find that, you know what, for myself, it was super effective, right? So I would not, not tell, I would not take, um, jelking out of the equation, right? I would definitely put it in and I would focus more on, you know, holding that stretch, you know, at the end of the, the rep. And I'd focus more on just, you know, slowing the pace down, which obviously I know is more associated to girth. But even then, it's just kind of, you know, your penis is bigger. And, I, you know, if it hangs better, probably doing something right. So if the physiological indicators are good and all that, I would still, you know, definitely keep jelking in the equation. Hence the reason why it's, you know, it's always recommended in a lot of the newbie workouts. Right. So like, let's say you do manual stretches, jelk, you know, and then you could do some other manual stretches, you know, after that, maybe you want to do your edging. Um, it depends on how you would break down, you know, the first side of, of your, um, PE length to a day session. Right. And, uh, what I would do again is make sure that I have my extender, my ADS, you know, I would definitely, I would definitely, um, you know, slap that on post-workout. Or, you know, you could do the opposite and you could do hanging as soon as you wake up, right? So you could definitely do your warm up, you know, do your stretches, then jump right into hanging, do some, you know, dry jelking in between sets. And I don't know, do however many you feel is comfortable. You know, you could do a three by 10, three by 15 or whatever, right? However, it is that you break it down. 
and then make sure you slap on your ADS or extender device. And then let's say for your second workout at night, if you feel more comfortable with like, hey, you know what, I don't wanna use this device at night, unless you have the gel to gain extender. And again, if you are looking to cop that, make sure you use the promo code MHS10, baby. And um, you know, you can use it to sleep and you can use it after your workout and you can be very comfortable and you can be making gains passively, you know? You, you would be making gains without having to do any active work, right? Which is exceptional and is something that, like I said before, is something we always want to look for or strive to have in our PE regimen, right? And that basically you'd be stretching, I don't know, man, like about 20 hours throughout the whole day. So you would definitely garner results or you definitely get some good results by following a workout like this where you're positively stimulating the penis. The one drawback or the one fear that I would have if, if you do, you know, some like just pure um a pure elongator pure stretch like this the whole day is that you know you do gotta mind you know any retraction or or any numbing or or anything that basically says hey you know what i should definitely lay off as far as the workload goes because i may be suffering some negative um psychological indi- or physiological indicators you know some doesn't feel right erector quality is down you know you got to be mindful of that as well but I still think, you know, the two a day, man, like it's probably the best way to approach PE in my opinion, right? And um, that is why I think it's the best way to go about it if you have the opportunity to do it, right? Not all of us are blessed in that we have the option to do it. If time is still a constraint, I would still, you know, and this is obviously the best way in my opinion to go about it. And it's the one thing that I wish I could do myself, Right. But if you can't, you know, you can still kind of just minimize, you know, doing a full workout as soon as you get up. Like the way I would do it is just kind of, hey, do a light stretch, five, 10 minutes, whatever, and then slap on my extender and go about my day. And then you do your your PE workout at night. You know, it's not as intense. And obviously, you know, I'd like to I'd obviously love to have, you know, that first block of uh, my workout done in, in earlier in the day. But if it's not a possibility, it's not a possibility. You know, you got five minutes, make the most out of it. Make sure you slap on your extender. And then, you know what? Really get down and, and do your workout later on that night and just get the most of it or get the most out of your PE regimen that way. It's definitely still going to get you great results. And, you know, it's going to be very, very effective. Now, that being said, you know, a lot of guys that I know who just say, I only have an hour to dedicate, I only got 45 minutes. You know, you got to do what's best for you and and obviously look for for an individualized program that caters to your needs, right? So like I said before, length, definitely, it basically following the same parameters, right? You do your length workout, slap on your ADS, then do your length workout once again, and wear your ADS at night. Obviously, if you got the gel to gain, you know, you'll be comfortable. Make sure you use the promo code MHS10 and check out what they got because Daniel's got the goods. So definitely, definitely check out jelktogain.com. Right, so like, let's say you want to do a girth workout. The only thing that I would really change, well, obviously the entire, (laughs) the exercise would obviously be totally different, right? But you can just mix it up and be like, hey, maybe I'll clamp in the morning and at night I'm just going to do some pumping. Or you could do the opposite or you could throw in some jelking, slow squash jelks. You know, do a jelking session and then wear a cock ring in between, you know. And like I said, at night, use a very, 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 very loose cock ring um, or a tie or a tourniquet of some sort that you're able to gauge and say, hey, you know what? I could wear this comfortably for six hours. The one that I use myself is honestly, it's just a hair tie and it's super loose and it it keeps enough blood in there for me to know that, okay, you know what? I'm able to retain this pump well enough but it's also not cutting off circulation you know and i've known or i know this because i tested it out and i've used it for about eight hours and i could do it you know i could wear it for another eight hours it doesn't bug me whatsoever but it gives me just enough for me to say that you know what my penis is still pumped you know and i can still feel the difference in girth right And for myself, when I made the girth gains that I did, I found that, you know what, using that cock ring in between, that tourniquet, whatever it is that you're looking for, for as long as, as much as you possibly can in between workouts will definitely help for you to make and cement the girth gains that you're looking for. So as far as the best workout split, guys, I would have to 100% go with uh, a two session split per day, 
right on your off days. Same deal as uh, I said before, you know, you just want to take it easy, but you still want to do something that's, you know, passive, but still active enough for you to feel, you know, the difference and obviously see some, well, some engorgement. (laughs) You definitely want to feel as though your penis is bigger post-workout, right? Because that is what we're striving for. And the only way to make long-term gains is for you to always kind of up the ante just enough so that you can do so safely, but also, you know, push your body a little bit so that, you know, that discomfort basically tells you, okay, I'm headed in the right direction, right? Sometimes you'll feel discomfort. Discomfort isn't bad. Pain always is, guys. So if you feel pain at any time, your erectile quality is bad, your dick is turning purple, that is always a time to stop, <laughs> right? You, you should not. You should always listen to your body. And obviously, like, Sometimes, and myself included, sometimes you'll get overzealous and you'll say, hey, you know what? I'm making these gains. I'm going to keep going. And the next day you're like, I can't get my dick up to save my life. This is awful. (laughs) Right? So always err on the side of cautions, guys. Always. I mean, it's always best to be cautious. It's always better to be safe than sorry. And again, if you're short on time, you just got to work with what you got and always maximize the passive side of PE. You know, PE isn't just about, you know, the active workouts. It's not about the dynamic stuff. It's not about, you know, what you can do manually. You always got to look for, okay, how do I maximize the day, the day itself? You know, I got 24 hours. What can I do in these 10 hours that won't really interrupt my life? Oh, I can wear a cock ring. Oh, I can use an ADS or I can wear an extender that's comfortable enough and good enough to wear underneath my clothes. You know, oh, I'm going to watch TV for an hour. Maybe, you know, I could try hanging while I do this. You know, and like I said before, if you want to combine length and girth exercise, there's nothing wrong with that. I know there's some people on one side of uh, on the on the you should definitely just train one at a time kind of camp. And I think that they are right. You know, if you are looking to make just length gains, then understand that, you know what? If you're just going to make nothing but pure length gains, your girth might suffer a little bit. Right. Or if you're looking to make nothing but pure girth gains, hey, maybe, you know, your length might suffer a little bit or you just kind of dabble enough to make sure that you're stretching, you know, just enough to kind of make sure you maintain and not lose anything. Right. I myself did notice that when I was doing then the hanging that I was experimenting with, you know, my wife made the comment like, you know, it doesn't feel as girthy as it was before. And I mean, that basically said, okay, you know, I got to I got <laughs> to find a way to juggle both of these, man, because. You know, I obviously want to make the length gains, but, you know, I want to make sure that I maintain the girth that I worked hard to to kind of have as well, right? So everybody's different and everybody's situation is different. And what you want is 100%, you know, it's all about your approach at the end of the day, right? And if it's important for you, then just make sure you have a balanced routine, something that's able to address both sides of PE and... um and just, you know, a workout that's well balanced so that you can actually make sure that both sides of uh, of the PE, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I would say PE spectrum, but <laughs> both sides of the PE world are being taken care of, right? And I know there's there's a lot of different other things too, like rectal hardness and all that. But obviously, if we're just looking to increase size, you know, girth, length, that's pretty much what it comes down to, man. So just find a routine that's well balanced, one that works for you. And one that works with the time that you have, right? And like I said, everybody else, everybody's schedule is different. You know, we're all adapting to normality and all that, which is a blessing. But at the same time, you know, it does mean that for a lot of us, we got to revamp our our schedules and just find um, ways to make it work. So as far as the best training split, I definitely recommend two a days, man. Two a days if you got the time. If you don't have the time, then hey, get that one good workout session in. And make sure you take advantage of the of the passive approach of PE, right? And if you guys got any questions, shoot me an email. Um, still working on the IG page. Honestly, I'm just going to start a new one. So I've been working on posts and stuff to kind of just make sure I'm up and running there. All right, guys. But that's it today. So stay tuned for more good stuff coming your way. All right. Until next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And again, if you got any questions, shoot me an email or you can find me on Twitter as well. Still active there or on the Facebook. (laughs) 
Yep, the Facebook. All right, guys. Until the next time, stay safe, and I will talk to you then.